Hello and welcome to Lightwaves by Todderbert. If you enjoy reviews of flashlights, rechargeable lanterns, and other portable light sources, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any of my most awesome videos. Yeah! In front of us we have the Covmax. This model number is HC260. It's a USB rechargeable dual 18650 powered lantern slash flashlight. It's got four modes. It's pretty cool. I bought a couple of their other lights. I liked it, so I thought I'd give this one a try. I saw the dual 18650 function, got excited about it, and the price was pretty decent, right around $19.99 from Amazon with a 5% off coupon. That helps. So here it is, the box, pretty simple. A T6 LED, that's the front on the flashlight. They say there's 40 of the 2835 LEDs in the lantern part and 20 red LEDs in the lantern part. Nice, I like the idea of having a red uh, LED mode. The box is pretty simple here. Um, they're showing you output input, showing it runs on two 18650s, uh, discharge time, charging time of five hours. Sounds about right. That's what was for me. It also has a power bank function. And then over here, it's showing a camping situation, though I'd recommend this light in an auto situation. And we'll talk about that as I review this. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside the box. Okay, so we're greeted with the lantern and bubble wrap. Get that out of the way. We'll go over what's in here. Okay, that was the handle. Snapping in place. There we go. Box is empty. Okay, first things first, we get a little S hook to hang your lantern. There's a little metal hook on the lantern that you can hook this to. That's pretty handy to have. Loving that. Next, we get a very popular cable, a micro USB cable used to charge the lantern, which is said five hours, and also to use as a power bank. You use this to charge, say, a portable shortwave radio. I'll try to do that for you in this video. Okay, and next we get the lantern out. I'll kind of bring this down here, up close and personal. I like having it see in bubble wrap, that's good to protect it. And then we'll push this stuff off to the side here. And let's do some dimensions on this here. So we have a length of six and five eighths of an inch or 168 millimeters. And we also have a diameter of three and five eighths of an inch or 92 millimeters. Gives a good idea of the size. For size comparison, I'm gonna bring this back up and we're gonna put up other lanterns. I have its sister, the Covmax lantern. This is not a flashlight, but it is a rechargeable lantern with two 18650 batteries. It is a great camping lantern. I would recommend this as a camping lantern versus this as a camping light. This is more auto and I'll tell you why as we go. And next I have the Siege. Uh, you've seen this one before. Um, it's a monster, barely fit on camera there. Uh, it runs on three D cell batteries, um, just in there showing you for size comparison. Okay, so we get that out of the way. Oh yeah, I have a, of course, Iron Man here. Give you an idea how big this light looks like to a deck of cards. There you go. Awesome. All right, so the Covmax. HC260, let's talk about features. Let me bring this back down, back downtown. Okay, so the reason why I like this as an auto type lantern is because you only have four modes. You have a high lantern mode, a high flashlight mode, you have a red LED mode and a flashing red LED mode. There is no medium, low or eco mode on the lantern. I wish it had that, could make this a winner um, as far as the camping lantern goes. But this is a good short-term lantern, say in a short-term power outage or an automobile where if your car broke down and you're walking to get help, this will be enough light source to get you to where you need to go or to fix your vehicle short-term operation. You know, its discharge times are pretty quick and we'll go over those. Um, so let's go ahead and start with features. On the front here, we have our flashlight. As you can see, it's plastic here front. Um, we have a smooth reflector and the LED in there is that... Uh, T6, they call it. It's very generic. I think it's just the packaging. I looked really close at it, and it looked like an XM-L from Cree. Um, it could possibly be one of those or a generic branded uh, LED, but uh, the output is 600 lumens, so I'm assuming it is the Cree XM-L from what I've researched. Um, and it projects a very tight beam. Um, this reflector doesn't really do much to broaden the beam. So you have a very long range beam, which is nice, especially if you're walking down the road in the dark, you need people to see you at a distance or you need to see things at a distance. That's why this is great, definitely for short-term 
use in an auto situation, which I love. So we'll keep going here. We have kind of a cool setup here. We have a folding handle that you heard earlier snap into place. I do like how it locks, locks down and out of the way. Um, behind here is our LEDs and probably our batteries. Um, I say probably the batteries because they're not replaceable. It's the one thing about this lantern. It runs on two 18650s. The only way to get to them is to unscrew the base. Um, and they're wired in there and they're sealed. So they're pretty much not meant to be replaced. Though I'm sure some of you guys who like to hack on lanterns can probably figure out a way to make them replaceable. Let me know if you do. And maybe I'll feature that as a feature in the future for this lantern. But uh, yeah, inside there was the 40 um, SMD LEDs. Their brightness, um, being 40 of them, is equal to about 600 lumens also. And you expect them to be a cool white light uh, in the 6700 Kelvin temperature range. That's why I looked up on those. And then, of course, there's 20 red LEDs inside there. Okay, towards the base here, we have the charging jack input. And there, there you can see the micro USB to charge it. And then you have your power out at the bottom, USB out. And it just starts working. There's no light telling you it's working. It just starts charging out, which is nice. Over here we have the power switch to select the four modes. One is flashlight mode, it's high only, goes to high uh, lantern mode, goes to this high red mode, and then to a flashing red. And if you notice when it's on, the light here is turned blue on the status indicator under the power switch. That's nice to see too. And of course it cycles every time. Always starts out on the flashlight, then goes to high lantern, red lantern, then flashing red lantern. That's how it cycles, doesn't remember last setting. But when you're charging it, this turns red when you're charging and goes to solid blue when it's done. Here's our metal hook to hang it. And you can use the S hook they provided, which I think is nice. And they say the capacity of this light, there's a total of 3000 milliamp hour rating in here. So each cell is probably 1500 milliamp hour capacity. Again, if you were thrifty enough, you could probably take those out, upgrade those cells, you know, you just probably retape them or reseal them, uh, or reheat shrink them, they call it, uh, to make it safe. I looked in there and I didn't want to start bothering. There's so many little wires to mess with. So, but there you go. Um, let's go ahead and give you a little more information. Waterproofing, I think, was pretty basic water resistance. They really don't go over too much on that. Um, showed you power switch, the input, the hanger. Uh, let's see, it rated the batteries there. Okay, so they're soldered in place, which is a bummer. <laughs> Wish it wasn't. So let's go to the garage, kind of show you this thing in action, um, and show you kind of how that beam is and everything. So let's go to those garage picks. This first picture, the flashlight is on, is in its mode, high only mode. It's 600 lumens rated. I give it about three hours before it's uh, discharged, and it gets a throw about 150 meters. This next picture. I have the lantern hanging from my garage door light in the middle of the garage, and I'm off to the back corner so I get an idea of how much light this lantern produces in my garage. It lights up the entire garage with no problem. You can fix both vehicles if you had to. This is 600 lumens on the lantern mode and about a runtime of two and a half hours. This last picture here, the lantern's in the red mode. Uh, I'd probably approximate this as 150 lumen red, red mode because I have a siege lantern that has a high red LED mode. I'm kind of able to judge that picture by the others. And I'd, I'd probably give this about a six hour rating at the 150 lumen mode. So there we are. Let's go back to the table. All right, so let's go ahead and turn off the lights. We'll do a little demo and then we'll do final thoughts on this lantern. All right, turn this off here. Turn this one off. Turn the light on. Okay, so flashlight's crazy bright. <laughs> As you can see, it's got a high spot right in the middle there. And it's got this like a big halo around it but that's yeah that's where you're gonna get your distance when you're walking down the road of course you know i could blind iron man here for sure <laughs> i can go of course tail stand this and of course we can lay up the whole room this way if we point it at the ceiling so that's the flashlight mode let's go ahead and switch it to the lantern mode lantern mode's really nice you can see it lights up the whole table here i can play play a game of cards Listen to my favorite radio. To my radio out there. Yeah. Some tunes going. So get that frame here. You guys can see that. Let's move that in. Yeah, so I got my lantern. 600 lumens. It's not going to last a really long time. So it's good if your power's out for a short time. You want to make dinner. And then <clears throat> you know the power will be back on probably that evening. 
and you're ready to go for a new day and you get this charged back up when you have time or you're in your vehicle and you can charge it with the battery in the vehicle. So that's also a good thing. And next, of course, we have red. There you are. It's a really bright red, very intense. Um, this is really nice for saving your night vision. Um, definitely nice to have. And of course, then we have the flasher, which I think is great in an auto situation. This will definitely get people's attention if you're in the fog or you're working on the vehicle or you need to stress. And this is the only way to get somebody's attention. So there we go. So let's go to the lantern mode, go turn these lights back on, and we'll do final thoughts on the Covmax HC260. Okay, go ahead and pull these out of the way here. Cycle this off. Oh, you know, I didn't show you. I should do a real quick demo of the power bank feature. Yeah, let's do that. So I usually have a shortwave radio around here because you know I'm all about portable radios, right, guys? <laughs> and then um, I guess we'll use the cable they provided. Um, so this works out pretty good. You know, having this in a situation is nice. Um, it's dual purpose. You know, you get yourself a little power bank just in case. Um, so if you keep this charged on a regular basis, uh, you're ready to go in a situation where you might just need your radio to tell you what's going on. And you may not need a light so much. So we'll go ahead and plug this in. And then we'll plug in the power bank feature here. It's like it's a pretty simple setup. Plug that in. Now the other lantern, this would light up. But this one here, it doesn't light up, but it does show that we're charging the radio. Nice thing about this is that this battery is a simple BL5C battery with a capacity of around 1100 milliamp hours. So this 3000 power bank should have no trouble charging up this radio. So there you go, you can see it charging away. Awesome. Okay, we'll disconnect that. And then we'll do final thoughts. Let me unplug this. I oh, also didn't, didn't show you. Just notice this one to open this up. The, it has an o-ring seal over that uh, door there, which I find really nice to see. You don't see that too often. All right. So there it is. The Covmax HC260. Should you buy this for a camping lantern? Uh, the answer is no. No, you shouldn't buy this for a camping lantern. You should buy this one as a camping lantern. <laughs> and if you don't know why, just hit the video up here. Check out the review of this lantern. It's 15 bucks. It runs on two 18650s, has four modes. They're white light, there's no red LED, but just absolutely amazing on what this provides for a camping lantern. I love it. Needs a little bit of waterproofing at the lid, but that's all. And then I also read somebody reviewed this. And they said they were able to put a third 18650 in the bottom with a little micro switch. So when the two main batteries depleted, they had a third battery to run on. <laughs> thought that was absolutely incredible. And of course, these two batteries can be removed and replaced with other button top batteries and protected button top batteries. So I thought that was also cool. You could take these batteries out, you could put one into a shortwave radio like a D808, and you could still run the lantern on one battery. So this is a great camping lantern, and I would say off the grid lantern, and also good in long term power outages. This would be the one I'd want. But in the car, this is what I would want right here. If I had to have a light in the car, I'd want something with a strong flashlight, a strong lantern, a red mode, a flashing red mode, and it doesn't need to last too long. Four hours is plenty enough time, hopefully, to get help. I don't want to be trapped in my car any longer than that, um, or to get something fixed. So this makes a perfect lantern for an auto. Um, I'd keep this charged and keep this in the trunk or, you know, if you have room in a, a side pocket or somewhere where you can store it. If you have a Jeep, I'm sure you guys got compartments. Um, just a really cool uh, rugged type auto lantern. This is what I definitely recommend uh, for somebody who wants to be prepared in a situation where maybe their vehicle breaks down, they have to hike it somewhere, or they have to sit put, you know, stay put until somebody comes and helps them. They have the flashing red lights so nobody rear ends them in a fog situation. That could be a problem if your battery goes dead and you don't have any flashers. At least you can put this in the back window and there's your flasher. So that's what I would recommend. So there it is. The Covmax gets a recommended buy for auto use. And of course, this gets a recommended buy for camping and other use, definitely for lantern. Um, so there it is, the Covmax. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. If you love these videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you love this brand, do the same. I'll try to find more. Of their, you know, they have a few of these lights out there. That are, they're inexpensive, and it's kind of fun. I like finding lanterns under 20 bucks in lights. I'm trying to feature low cost because a lot of people want low cost. They don't want anything high end or fancy. They just want to get the job done and maybe have a couple of these handy, which is a good thing.
And of course, three, comment below. What do you think about this particular model, the HC260? Would you prefer this in your auto versus, say, something like a traditional lantern like this? Just let me know. All right, guys, take care, and we'll see you in the next video.